All right, let's take a look at question number 21. It reads, in the diagram below of circle O, GO is equal to 8, and the measure of angle GOJ is 60 degrees. Question, what is the area in terms of pi of the shaded region? So what we're looking at here is the area of this shaded region, which is known as a sector, okay? A sector is a fraction of an entire circle. So let's go ahead and um, uh, write down the formula for calculating the area of a sector. So let's write this down. The formula is as follows. Um, depending on the unit of the angular measure, that will determine the, what formula you're using, okay? So the area is theta, the angle, divided by 360 times pi r squared, okay? It's basically the fraction of the area. This is area right here. Theta over 360 is a fraction of the entire area. Um, multiply it by the whole area, that will give you the area of the sector. And this formula is applicable when theta is in degree form. And that is the case here. As you can see, we have a degree measure. If you are dealing with radians, um, the area is going to be 1 half r squared theta. Okay, so this is when theta is in radians. All right, so to solve this problem, we just need two um, pieces of information. We need what theta is, the central angle, and the radius, okay? So let's go ahead and find theta first. So you need to be careful with this problem. We're looking for the area of the shaded region. So we're looking for this area right here. So we need the this angular measure right here. That's what theta is, the um, angle that you add to 60 to get 360. Okay, so theta is going to be full circle, which is 360, minus the angle we have, 60. So theta is going to be 300 degrees. That's the central angle for the um, shaded region. Radius r is 8, as given here. So our area is 300 so let's rewrite the formula again so we don't get it confused. Theta over 360 times pi r square. So we already calculated theta to be 300 over 360 times pi times the radius square. Okay? Now if you divide by 0, between 30, 300 and 360, you have 30 over 6. Uh, 36 times a squared 64, 64 pi. Now, 30 and 36, what goes into both of them evenly? 6 goes, right? So 6 goes here, 6, and 6 goes into 35 times. And then um, 6, let's say 2 goes into 6 3 times, and then 2 goes into... 32, uh, 2 goes into 64, 32 times. So we just have 5 times 32 times pi. That will give us the area of the sector. If you do with your calculator, you end up with 160 pi for the numerator over 3 for the denominator, all right? So that goes your final answer for question 21.